Those who have sold Canva templates on Etsy before will know that this is one of the easiest and best ways to not only make money online, but make passive income online. Once you get everything set up, you could potentially start making around $1,000 every month in passive income. Hello and welcome to Cashflow Worldwide, where we show you fresh new ways on how you can make money online. If you're interested in that, please click on the subscribe button and the like button, and be sure to also click on the notification bell so you are notified immediately every time we upload new content on how to make money online. So in today's video, we will be going over how you can create passive income by selling templates on Etsy, which you will create for free on Canva. The main reason this is such an easy money-making method is because you are going to be using Canva's pre-made templates as a starting point to create your own templates to then sell on Etsy. So if you consider yourself to be inexperienced when it comes to creative digital design or any sort of design for that matter, don't worry because this is very beginner friendly and is doable for almost anyone. Canva is designed in a way where they create templates so all you have to do is mainly focus on the fonts, the color palettes, and images rather than actually constructing the template as a whole from scratch. Canva has a wide range of different designs, images, and fonts, making it very intuitive for complete beginners as well as experienced designers. You also don't even need to have an audience in order to sell templates. As long as you have a good, solid template, you will be able to make sales even if you have zero followers. But we're going to cover all of this in today's video, so let's jump right into it. Also, be sure to watch this entire video to the very end so you know exactly what you need to do to make the most money possible. So step one is to actually choose your template. So let's head on over to Canva and see what templates are available for us. And remember that we are going to select the template as a starting point for us to tweak it in order to create our own version of that template. So just search for templates and start browsing until you find one that you like. So you'll notice that there are different categories of templates that you can browse through such as presentation templates, social media templates, video templates, and so on. So my best advice when selecting a template is to choose one that is in a niche that you know a lot about and are interested in or are a part of. And I suggest this because it will result in you creating the best offer possible, which will then translate into more sales for you. So if you know a lot about social media, you might consider creating an Instagram post template. If you're interested in YouTube, you might create a YouTube thumbnail template. Whatever it is you choose, you want to make sure it aligns with your interest so you can create a better version than any of the free versions that they have available on Canva so people will actually be willing to buy it. So step two is making sure that it's actually profitable. So we're going to focus on getting organic traffic, assuming that you don't have any audience yet. Using Etsy is a great way to host our digital products because Etsy already has millions of people on their platform ready to buy your digital products. So we're going to use a site called marmalade.com to see if people are actually looking to purchase the product that you are selling. So you are going to type in the broad keyword for your template to see if people are actually searching for this product. This right here shows the monthly searches for this keyword term. And then this is the number of people who are engaging with this product listing on a monthly basis. So obviously the competition is quite high, but we aren't going to worry about that right now because next I'm going to show you how we can make sure that the niche product listing you'll create is actually selling well based on other sellers. This is a legit way to figure out if we can also have success in this niche. Now, we'll go to the next row and head on over to Etsy and type in our niche keyword for our template. Okay, so let's click on this search right here. So in order to find out if this person is actually making sales with this product, we will scroll down to the review section and filter by newest. We're going to total up the number of reviews within the past two months or so. Next, we're going to go over to this profit predictor calculator that I created. You will put in the number of reviews, the price of the product, and then it will calculate how many sales this seller might have made, as well as how much they could have made in that time. So we'll fill in the number of reviews, the price, 
and then it'll show us the number of sales this person could have made on the low end, and then the number of sales on the high end. So this tells us the lowest amount of money this person could have made as well as the highest amount of money this person could have made. So what we're going to do is take the average of both and this is what we get. So we take this number and since we got this number of reviews within the past two months, we get this number. This is how much this seller is making on average every month off of this template pack. This is totally possible and doable for you as long as you create a high quality digital product. So step three is making the best product possible. So you are probably wondering how you will be able to compete with all these other sellers offering digital products in your niche. The best way to do that is to look at other people's listings in your niche and think to yourself, how can you make your digital product better than theirs? So you want to think about what addition can you make to your template that is simple and straightforward, but is also a big bonus in a consumer's perspective. So let's say you decide to create a YouTube thumbnail template. You might also want to create an Instagram post template as an extra bonus that bundles well with the YouTube thumbnail, therefore increasing the overall value. So you can take your YouTube thumbnail template and simply just resize it for an Instagram post template. So now you have a completely new, separate product, but it took very little effort because all you have to do is resize it. Okay, so now you have your product idea. You know it's in demand because people are searching for it. You know people are having success and making sales with this product, and you're now thinking to yourself, how can you improve this product so you can outsell your competitors? You're also probably wondering, how can you start actually making some sales? The best product that I know of would be launching. Launching is an amazing way to get a ton of traffic to your online store. And the best way I would suggest you go about doing this is to have an opening sale and discount your items between 30% and 50% just to start getting some sales. The Etsy algorithm prioritizes products that convert. So discounting your products and having a big opening sale will really help you convert and get the ball rolling so you can make some sales. Another option would be to use ads. Ads are a great way to get your listing exposed to a bunch of people immediately so you can get some sales. But if you don't have the budget for this, I would suggest sticking to organic traffic. All right, so now that we have our digital product and we're ready to go and start listing this on Etsy and make some sales, I'm going to show you how to create your Etsy account and upload your digital product to your Etsy store. So first, you're going to want to head over to Etsy.com and click on this button on the top right corner to create an account. After you've created an account, then you're going to want to click on this button that says Shop Manager. That will then redirect you to this page where you will want to fill in all of this info. So you would put your shop language, your shop country, your shop currency, and then choose one of these four options. I'm personally just going to select I sell part-time, and that's how I like it, as an example. Click save and continue. Then, you're just going to name your shop and you can choose whatever. This is not very important. After you've done that, click on save and continue, and then next you're going to want to stock your shop. This is where you're going to add your digital product template. So click on add new listing, and then click on add a photo. This is where you'll add your digital product so people can view it. Then you can scroll down and add a title, fill out the info under about this listing, select the category, select the renewal options and the type, and then give a description about your digital product. Then you want to scroll down and fill out the information for inventory and pricing. This is where you're going to price your product. Now to figure out how to price your products, I would suggest looking at similar products in your niche and pricing it similar to your competitors and maybe pricing at an even lower price in order to make some more sales. After you've completed all this information, then click on save and continue. Next, you can stock your shop here if you have multiple listings that you'd like to sell, but for now, we'll just focus on our first listing and then click on save and continue. The next selection is how you're going to get paid. For tax purposes, you'll fill out whether you're an individual or sole proprietorship or an incorporated business. Most sellers will fall under the individual or sole proprietorship category. So if you're selling on your own and you don't have a registered legal entity, I would select this option. And then you want to fill out this information here by your country of residence, your name, your date of birth, your social security number, and your taxpayer address. And then you want to add your bank information like your account number, 
and your routing number so you can get paid. After you've completed all this, then click on save and continue. Next, you want to verify your ID. They will provide you with some options as to which types of ID they accept. After you've selected your document type and attached a picture of your ID, then click on save and continue. Also, make sure to check your email for a confirmation link so you can confirm your new account. Next, you'll want to set up your billing by adding your credit card and billing address to that credit card. Once you've filled out this information, then click on save and continue. Then after this, you'll fill out the information for your shop security, which will be the final step. Just complete all this information you see right here, and now your Etsy store is completed and you are now ready to sell your digital products. And that brings us to the end of today's video on how you can create and sell Canva templates on Etsy. Remember to subscribe to this channel and like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Also, be sure to click on the notification bell so you are notified every time we upload a new video. If you'd like to learn about another way to make money online, click on this video right here.